Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at an anti-meta Persian deck. So this is a pretty funny deck um, and we're pretty much just trying to use Persian alone Persian GX here. It has the ability Smug Face. It cannot be damaged by tag teams, special energy, po Pokemon special energy on them and Ultra Beast. So it has insane immunity right now. Um, and there's a lot of decks right now that this card is completely immune to, of course. Decks that use the Guzmahala engine. We'll talk about how we can beat those in a minute. Um, Bolcephalon is very popular right now. We are immune to Bolcephalon. We are also immune to all tag teams. So ADP, Pikaram, Reshizard, other than Double Blaze, cannot damage us. And that is insane. And Special Energy too. So of course, the Mewtwo deck that Henry Brand played already can't damage us because it's Mewtwo. But they can't even damage because they have special energy in general. So this deck has a lot of good things going for it. It's got a lot of immunity. The only problem is, is that V Pokemon exists like Tapu Koko and Zacian. But we'll talk about how we can beat those in a minute. So forget the video guys, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Card Kevin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, guys, if you're still looking to get yourself Sword and Shield codes, get over more of our Card Kevin TCG. You can get your Sword and Shield codes singly, lots of 50, or you can get codes in lots of 100, all at a pretty good price. Of course, they have all the other pack codes there, like any team-up codes, Unbroken Bonds codes, they have Unified Minds codes. They have all the other pack codes, too, for the other sets. Any other PC Joe related code, like any theme deck code, GX code, V code, um, EX code, any code you're looking for. Get them over at Cart Carbon TCG, guys. If you pick up any codes from there, guys, you can use my discount code, code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your order. Support the channel, support Cart Carbon, and help yourself out. Um... So yeah, shout out to Karkar and the sponsor. Check them out. Use code LDF. So let's take a look at our list now. So there's a lot of things I put in this deck for this deck to actually work. So again, Persian has a lot of immunity. Now again, there are some Pokemon that can deal with you, of course. Um, v Pokemon are a thing now. So if your opponent's playing Tapu Koko V or they're playing um, Zacian in their deck, obviously they will be. That's how they beat you and you can't do anything about it. But I have a way to counter all of that, of course. While Smug Face works for uh, can't work works for tag teams, it also applies for Pokemon Special Energy. Now, if we happen to play against a deck that uses Special Energy, and they bench a V Pokemon, we can end Porter the Special Energy to that Pokemon. So the idea is, if we're against ADP, and unfortunately the Energy Spinner version is very popular, but there's still people out there that still think and will play the uh, Special Energy build of ADP. If they're playing that Special Energy build of ADP, we can end Porter the energy like importer the roar energy from the adp to a bench zacian on the bench and now all of a sudden that zacian cannot damage you that's literally the whole concept of importer um it doesn't work too well on pika because they have tapu koko and zero Aura and they don't play special energy there's a chance they might play the unit energy um but other than that you're fine and again there's so many matchups you can just beat because there's just you know Bolcephalon, for example um you we play wabafet in here to prevent them from being able to use victini on me um, we have Absol to slow Dex down. We have a Weavile. This is another nice attacker. If we ever just need a nice big attacker, we have it. A lot of decks right now play Pokemon with uh, abilities. Think of all the Dedenes and Jirachis in play. And sometimes Weavile can do like a nice clean 200 damage and take like a knockout. Um, this could be a way to deal with those V Pokemon. You know what I mean? To go back into Persian, right? So this thing can knock out Tapu Koko V quite easily. Um, got my four Jirachi. I'm playing a Fion, another nice card here. We can just keep forcing stuff into the active spot. Um, I am playing a Zacian. This is like the most intercardable card. Uh, but one of the problems I have with Persian is that it is very slow. Um, I am using red and blue to try to power it up. I am playing two copies of red and blue along with two tag calls to try to get your Persians in play and get two energy on them to build it up in one turn. But I am playing Zacian. Sometimes you just need to sit back, catch energy. We have Zacian to help us out. Um, yeah. So for the Pokemon, we go into the items now. Again, I've already talked about the importers. Uh, I got a great catcher in the deck. I would really want to play more gusts like customs or pokemon catchers to bring out those v pokemon to damage them um oh another thing i forgot to mention uh spoil the fun can do 70 damage if you go second so you go second with this deck and they start with the jirachi you can just spoil the fun knock them out that's also really cool i got an ornate rod two comms four quick balls one reset stamp along with some marnies just disruption cards to help disrupt the opponent again if they're trying to get v pokemon to play we can hopefully disrupt their hand size i got three switch in the deck i know i'm playing a lot of switching cards but we have some bulky pokemon in this deck um, two tag calls, of course, to go with the red and blues. Now, I am playing three Chaotic Swells just to obviously prevent stadiums like Thunder Mountain. Uh, Wabafet and Th Chaotic Swell will slow Pika around Clown down quite a bit to, you know, make it so they can't attack him with Coco. Um, Chaotic Swell also prevents Power Plant from stopping Smug Face if we ever run into that. I got four Cynthia, two Marnie, uh, 
some researches. Red and blue, of course, a very important card in here. Uh, I am playing one copy of Air Balloon because uh, it can give your Zacian and Wobbuffet and Persian for your treat. One Stealthy Hood. This prevents, of course, Fionn and Mimikyu from stopping us. I got some escape boards, and I am playing nine Dark Energy to round out my list. But yeah, this is my Alolan Persian Wall deck. It's a very cool archetype. Um, and again, you can win so many games because the opponent has no way to deal with Persian. So let's go try it out on PCGO. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to get in the first game with our Persian deck here. And we're up against a Psychic deck. So we haven't seen a single Mewtwo deck yet. Um, well, I haven't played against one yet anyways. Uh, we are going to go second because we are playing a uh, deck that can donk the opponent. We do have a Wobbuffet and a Jirachi. Do we need the Wobbuffet? Probably not. I don't think they play any Prisms other than like Ditto. If they're playing Malamar, maybe. I think we'll just pass. I don't really think we need the Wob here, per se. I do start with the Gengar Mimikyu, which just so happens to be a tag team, which is really good. Um, ooh, Meowth. Oh, you know what? If we had a bit more damage, but we could actually knock this thing out with Spell the Fun. That's actually kind of sad. Uh, I don't know what I want to do here. I think I will just go Cynthia. Try to get energy or something like that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, uh, there we go. That's pretty much like the same hand. We get Wobbuffet and Persian back. Um, oof. I guess we'll take the red and blue because we can attack and knock this thing out next turn. We only have one card, one trainer in our hand too. I'm just going to pass. Uh, and before they like, I mean, they can't knock out me out, right? We only have one card. They might, they might Marnie or peeking red card me, which I'd prefer. Our hand is not that good. We have way too many energy in our hand. But if they don't bench anything here, we are just going to donk them. So actually, we need to get in it. Oh, no, no. We'll just manual retreat. What am I saying? We'll just manual retreat. So, yeah. They only got a basic. Oh, they get Giratina. The question is, will they play its ability? Okay, they are. So, they're not out of the game just yet, unfortunately. And they can knock out Jirachi, too. With with the spell tag being on. Oh, they're actually going to horror house me. Okay, and they give me a Cynthia back. That is fine. Um, can't do anything right now. Yeah, I think we'll just... Obviously, we're going to play these, so I don't really care. I'm putting them in my hand. Don't really care if Drachi gets knocked out. I guess I need to do horror house to get a better hand, which is fair play. Uh, but we do have the Persian... We have red and blue. We'll probably just end up red and blueing into the Persian. Um, and we get three prizes on this thing. That's going to help us win the game. Plus, we have our GX attack still. We can use that to knock out an Inkay or our Malamar on the bench, whatever the case may be. Uh, I think the only... God. Are you kidding me? All right, they actually play customs. Why? That is, that's so annoying. I was, like, what Malamar back tech plays Custom Catcher? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm actually triggered right now, bro. That actually, that actually cheeses me. What the heck, bro? Seriously, why? Uh, the Stellar Wish. Hmm. The Ordinary Rod might be good. I think we'll take that. Uh, actually, let's take the calm. This could be discard bait. I have an idea next turn. I have an idea. Okay, there better not be any more double customs here. That's what I'm pretty much relying on. That is so frustrating. Are you kidding me? Of course I play it. Like, bro, why? <laughs> what what Malamar deck plays customs, bro? Maybe this isn't even like a straight Malamar. Maybe this is like some other Malamar deck. Because like, seriously, how does Malamar have room for Guzmahala? custom catchers bro no thanks they're probably gonna retreat here too which i'm actually fine with because we can limit their damage and then we can knock this out and i actually think the giratina is more of a threat if they get a spell tag on that's gonna be a little annoying uh we'll see what they put the 40 damage it doesn't really matter too much i don't think okay no spell tag is good let's see where they put this damage 
If they put on themselves, that could open up the gate for a stock claws knockout, but we can avoid Poltergeist unless they play like a bunch of surprise boxes, which I don't think they do. They, they don't really seem to be playing um, like a real Gengar deck because they have Recycle. You can't use it with Gengar, so I'm assuming this is not a straight Gengar focus deck. They probably just have Gengar as like a one-up in the deck, and they just so happen to start with it. Okay, let's go red and blue. Get rid of the calm. I'm gonna get rid of the quick ball too. We're just gonna get rid of all of our trainers. We don't want to see them anymore. Hopefully we have enough energy in the deck. Okay, we do. That's good. I was kind of worried we wouldn't. We're definitely gonna evolve double Persian here. And... We're gonna take a knockout. There's no way Persian get knocked out by Gengar here. As long as we have two Persians in play, we should be good to try to win the game. Um... Chaotic Swell is a good card to see. We definitely don't like having too many trainers. I don't mind them doing 80 damage to me, though. I mean, like, I guess we should have readied away the Cynthia, but then we would have no support in our hand. I guess because we're knocking this set, we're taking three prizes. But they might just keep attacking with Giratina soon. We'll see what happens here. I think we're in a spot to win. They just, they have to go through two Persians. They can't even damage this Persian. I, what am I saying? They can't even damage the Persian. Here I am saying they can attack me with Poltergeist. They can't even damage Persian. I forgot... We're immune. All right, we can actually stocking claws this Tina, or actually we can knock out the Malamar. Do I want to? Should I save stocking claws? I think I should just take the knockout on the Malamar, because we can always knock out Gengar down the road with our Great Catcher. No, Great Catcher me. Okay, that's fine. We have Air Balloon. We have Switch still. I'm fine with this. They get rid of a Silvali and a Psychic. Okay, let's see what they do here. Probably just gonna... I mean, they kind of have to retreat, right? Like, they know I'm gonna take three prizes here. Or are they just like, whatever. Do they even have a supporter? Let's see. Do they have, like, any other Pokemon they can bench? Like, they probably want to have some cannon fodder. Because I'm assuming they don't want to lose three prizes, right? Like, they could retreat in the Malamar. Okay, now they're, they don't have any more double customs, which is good. They do bench another NK, so they can go into the NK. I don't mind taking on their Malamars. I actually prefer, honestly, knock out the Malamar this turn. Uh, but they, if they didn't get the NK down, knocking this out would have been good, because we're going to swell them. They have two cards in their hand. They wouldn't have been able to Viridian for an energy. Maybe they wouldn't have been able to attack my Tina. The Tina does a decent amount of damage. That's the only thing that kind of annoys me right now, is how much damage this thing can do. But they gotta go through two Persians, which should be pretty hard. As long as we get a switching card, we're good. They get rid of a Maulana. We'll see what they get with this. They get a third NK. So they're in complete top deck mode, and they've already done Horror House. Not looking good for them. Let's see. Yep, they're gonna retreat into an NK, and they're gonna pass. All right, they are in top deck mode. Oh my god, that could not have been the most perfect top deck ever. Wow. I actually don't feel bad. Actually, this, that's hilarious. Uh, we're definitely going to go the Cynthia route. Again, they can't damage me with the Gengar, so I don't really care. I do get a Hood. I mean, might as well put that on, right? There's no reason not to. So we have the ability to knock out the Malamar. We have the ability to knock out their active. I'm gonna knock out the Malamar because now they can't attack me with Giratina this turn. They're in top deck mode. Unless they draw like a Researcher or Cynthia or something, um, they can't attack me. And yeah, so it's like, if they, yeah, they just concede. There you go, guys. Persian taking out Malamar. The Malamar matchup is not that great though, just because they can still damage you. Oh, I just realized they had Recycle Energy on their Giratina. They couldn't even attack me. See, it's taking me this long to realize these things, guys. I apologize. I just woke up. Things happen. Okay, the, the Giratina couldn't damage me. So we pretty much just auto won that game because the Gengar couldn't damage me. Their own Giratina couldn't do anything because they had a Recycle Energy on it. That's just how OP this Persian is. Holy cow. It just has so much immunity. It's actually insane. Okay, guys, getting into another game of the deck. We'll see what we're playing against next year. We're up against a Dragon Psychic deck. So this could be another Malamar deck. We'll have to see. Um, if it is going to be Malamar, um, okay, the Lenemy Go first, so maybe it's not a Malamar deck. The fact the Lenemy Go first is very weird. Obviously, we do want to go second with this deck because we do have Meowth, which can knock out stuff, especially if they start with an Inkay 
or like a Giratina, it's an easy free prize. We get an Absol Fion Meowth start. I think we're gonna start with Absol, then we just skateboard into a Jirachi. The Absol is really good here if they are playing Malamar. Well, actually, they're not even playing Jirachi. And they start with a Tina Chomp, which is really good. Of course, we are playing Persian. Uh, do we dump the Fion or the Quick Ball? I don't think we need Fion. It looks like they're just playing. It looks like they're just playing Roxy Tina Chomp, which we need a Stealthy Hood for this Meowth then, assuming it's not prized, which it isn't. There's the Hood actually. We do get it. I think I'm actually gonna take the Marnie though because I think Marnie might be a little bit better here next turn to shuffle their hand down nice and low. Well, they might reset stamp me. Maybe I should take in the hood. It's fine. I want to wait till I play the hood anyways, just in case Meowth gets knocked out. I mean, Marnie could be big. If they do like a Roxy here and they get like, you know, a big hand, we can Marnie that hand away. That's the point. Hopefully, Josh doesn't get knocked out here. I don't think it will. Okay, yeah, they are playing Miss Magius. We'll see if we can win. This matchup should be easy with Persian. You know, Persian just walls them completely. There's nothing they can really do. Like, even if they play Bolcephalon, they can't do anything with it. The only thing that might be a problem is, of course, Mimikyu. I think we're going to have to put the Persian in play right away. I don't think we can afford a red and blue. I think we're going to have to evolve here. Let's see. As long as Meow survives, I'm going to be happy. I don't think they can knock me out. They could reset Sammy into a terrible hand, which is what I am worried about. If they reset me, well, I mean, we have a Drachi, though. We should be fine, right? As long as we just get a Persian next turn, we're going to be fine. We also need the Stealthy Hood. I, I don't think they play Faba. If they do play Faba, we're screwed. Um, is it prevent all effects? Yeah, so they actually can't GGN me either. So, like, if we put Persian in play, they can't just go, like, GGN out of nowhere. The, ooh, special energy. Okay, so this is where the end porter could be big. If they do play, like, one random card that can deal with Persian, I don't know, we'll just end porter. And they actually just hit me for 40, which is fine by me. We can evolve this. I think I'll still Marnie them. Why not? They have five cards. Put them down to four cards. Um, no energy or switching cards. It's kind of what I was hoping we could find there. There's a switch. I think I'm just going to switch any other Jirachi here. Don't really know what I'm looking for, per se. Chaotic Swell's a start. We'll take that. They might be playing Power Plant. We'll get rid of that. Not getting energy there is a little alarming because we do need to get energy on this guy, but we're fine. I don't want to put too many Pokemon in play because that's how they can win the game is if I put too many Pokemon in play, they can just knock them all out. So we have to be a little careful with what we bench. I think all we need now is just to bench one more Meowth, and that's about it. That's all we really need to bench. We can honestly win with one version, too. Like, we might not even need the other Meowth. And there's that rainbow energy going on. And again, we can import, or we can even slow them down by importing the energy around, too, which is kind of funny. So as long as they do... Yep, they do play Power Plant. Yeah, good thing we have three Catic Swells. As long as they don't play Lusamine, which I don't think they do, we should be fine. As long as they aren't playing Marshadow either. There's a Custom Catcher. And just a Linear Attack. They knock out my Jirachi. Fine with that. I think we're just going to go Cynthia here. Can we draw an Energy or another Swell? Do Research. I could play that. I think we're going to go Cynthia though, because if we do Research, Namus Magius reset me to a low hand, I might be in trouble. Okay, we got another Chaotic Swell, which is good. We got another Dark Energy. Got a Stellar Wish for nothing. Damn, rip. I might go switch into Absol, because I don't really even think Absol is really needed in this match. I might just switch into Absol here and just let it sit in the active so we can keep Jirachi alive. I think I will do that. We're going to hold the hand. Not going to play the Stealthy Hood just yet. We can also knock out Mimikyu by just doing uh, Stalking Claws on it. So we'll have to see what happens here. As my phone is blowing up. <laughs> There's a Roxy... Gonna get rid of only a Misdreavus, so, so that's good. And they have GGN, but it doesn't work on Persian. Unless, like, I'm crazy, but I'm pretty sure GGN does not work on Persian. Actually, I'm gonna leave my Jachi again. Alright. 
There's an air balloon. I'm just gonna play the research. I'm not gonna play the tag call. Oh, we didn't get an energy? It's kind of annoying. I don't think there's a way I can get an energy here. That's a rip. We can end porter them. Put the energy on the Misdreavus. Doesn't really matter if we do that, I guess. But that slows them down one turn, right? Plus that's one less card. I know I was gonna save it, but I, I don't really think they really have anything they can do. Yeah, it just sucks we didn't get an energy there. I could have calmed for another Meowth. I was thinking about doing that, but it's fine. We'll do that next turn. But yeah, moving the energy here also means I can't just build them as Magus out of nowhere. Like, you never know what they could do, right? It's just the M Porter is a really cool card. Okay. And all right, just a knockout. So as long as we don't whiff an energy, we do have to play another research. We are actually losing another Chaotic Swell. Which I'm not a fan of. I might have to get like a... Oh man, I don't want to lose any... I don't want to lose my last Chaotic Swell. I think we can afford one more Jirachi. So we're going to get it. I think we can afford one more Jirachi. As long as we don't put too many Pokemon in play, we should be fine. But we can definitely afford one more Jirachi. So there we go. We get a Cynthia, which is perfect. Play that. We'll wait to play the reset. There we go. We finally got some energy. We didn't get a switching card, though. Unfortunately, that would have been nice to go with it. But that's fine. As long as we have an energy, we're good. And uh, now we just got to probably build up another Persian if it's possible. And this is where the fun begins. Uh, we're just going to retreat. I'm not even going to bother doing Stellar Wish gonna start attacking uh, we're gonna marty them because why not we need to start getting possibly the other chaotic swell there it is there it is and all right here's where the fun begins claw slash so they can knock out jirachi they take another prize but they're getting ready for my reset stamp to three um they have 104 hp so they can still keep taking some hits here they can also play malalon at heal but they can't damage me so there's that they can miss Magius into a Bulcephalon. I don't know if Bulcephalon works on Persian. I haven't tested that yet. But then we knock out the Bulcephalon anyway, so it probably doesn't even matter. And they do get an unknown card. It looks like it is Miss Magius. And there's an energy spinner. Mysterious message. So let's see if this prize is good. Another energy, I'll take it, I guess. The one thing I'm worried about is these power plants. I don't know how many they're playing. I gotta hope they're only playing like a couple, because those power plants is what's, is what's gonna stop me. That's the only thing I'm scared of. That's why I wanna get multiple Persians in play, just in case. And they get a Weezing here. Again, with Stealthy Hood, they can't do Mimikyu, but they could play Faba, which would be very annoying. Oh wait, we didn't take damage, derp. And they GG end. Doesn't work on my Persian, buddy. I hate to break it to you, but it doesn't work. And they just concede, yep, there we go. Another dub for us. Probably would've held the hand too. Didn't really need to do anything there. Obviously we want to hold that Chaotic Swell um, for the um, power plants that they inevitably play. Oh, I should've checked to see how many they played. But anyways, we still won the game. That's all that matters. And that is why this Persian is a beast. Okay guys, getting into a third game with Persian here. What are we up against this time? We are up against Knight Online, and it looks to play Mewtwo, which is good. I want to see how we would do maybe against the Henry Brain deck or something, but I'm starting to think about just taking out that Zacian. I did think it'd be useful to use Intrepid Sword and stuff, but I haven't found a use for it, Intrepid Sword yet, so I think probably we would just cut that Zacian out of the deck. Speak of the Devil, there it is. I don't think I want to play it, though. Yeah, see, I'm starting to just think the Zacian was a bad idea. Maybe take it out for a Sneasel. Looks like they are playing Mewtwo, which is perfect, of course, because they can't damage me. 
We're definitely not going to put Zacian in place. I don't want to get sniped either. Ooh. Ooh, that is such a bad hand. There's a special energy, a choice helmet going down. Special energy is good, though. This is a bad hand, though. Good thing their start was bad. I might actually have to bench this now just so that I can get into a Meowth. Because I'm definitely not... Yeah, I'm not trying to... Not trying to discard those two Persians. No thanks. I don't think I can win with just one Persian. I need to get two. So we're just going to hit him with a Zacian. I might regret benching this. I think now we just have to avoid benching too many Pokemon. We can put the Fion back in the deck if we ever get that opportunity. But they are playing a lot of special energy, which is good. Hopefully this Chaotic Swell makes all the difference. But we'll see. A Poipool goes down. That's an Ultra Beast. There's a Caitlyn Cynthia. Don't really know what they're playing, actually. I guess this is Malamar? I don't really know. I don't know what to tell you. Hopefully we can get like a uh, Meowth here or something. Because we have to tag call for it in blue. There's a Mysterious Treasure. Gets an Inkay. So they are playing Malamar. Yeah. So I don't know. The Zacian kind of saved me. We wouldn't have gotten knocked out, I guess, anyways. But again, I'm not trying to research away that thing. Especially with the Ordinary Rod in my hand. I would have been fine if we had an Ordinary Rod in the deck. But it's in our hands, so we would have lost both Orny Rod. They get a Zacian. Oh no, they have an attacker though, but I don't think they can even attack me with it. So I'm not really worried about it. Plus we can always stock and closet. The Absol is actually a pretty big card though. For my opponent. There's a reset stamp. I think we'll put the Dark Energy there. I think I will play the Cynthia because just try to get a different hand. We have Intrepid Sword, right? Don't find any Meow. Sorry, we're just going to go for the Intrepid Sword. We do get a Red and Blue, but again, we have no Meow to work with. Uh, we can play the End Porter, though, and put the Energy on the Zacian if they try to attack me with it. If they do bench something that can damage my guy, I'm going to play the End Porter, and I think I'm going to try to move Thing to wherever. I don't know what they're playing, though. This is a weird deck. It's kind of funny how the Zacians helped me out, even though I was kind of chirping it. Weak guard. Okay, what does this do? So they can they can attack me with bright with light of protector. I don't think they'll do that though. So we can import the energy to the Zacian. Could also move it on the Naganadel, but they can't damage me anyway, so I think we'll move it to the Zacian just in case. And they actually do decide to GX me here. Which is kind of surprising to be honest. So we I think we have to bring in Ditto. Let's see if we can topic something good. There's a Meowth. We'll play the end porter. I think I will move the weak energy to the Zacian just so now that they can attack me. Don't know if I want to bench this Jirachi. I guess we can switch into it. And the next turn, red and blue into a Persian. I can also just Cynthia and try to get Persian too. Then we, if not, we'll just Intrepid Sword. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. They can't even attack me anyways, probably with this, so it's fine. Okay, we didn't get a Persian. Put an energy there. We're just gonna go for Intrepid Sword. Still no Persian, okay. <laughs> Persian doesn't want to come out and play, apparently. I have no clue what type of deck this is. I guess this is a Mewtwo deck, I don't really know. There's an Evolution Incense for Malamar. So Malamar can attack me. Maybe we should have moved the weak energy to Malamar, but they could be playing Rainbows and Metals. I don't really know. Like, this thing could attack me. Better safe than sorry. Maybe we should have put that on the Malamar. But it's only doing 40 damage anyway, so it's not really a threat. But as you can see, a lot of the stuff on the board can't damage me. And again, an LGX can't damage me. Zacian now can't damage me because we put the weak energy on it. Their active can't damage me because it's a tag team Pokemon. You can just kind of see Persian's immunity is very, very strong. I might want to knock out that Absol Stocking Claws, though. This is weak to Psychic, not Dark. We'll see. They actually switch into the Malamar. Okay. Can they attack me? Ooh, they are going to take a knockout. Okay, that's fine. So I think we'll have to bench this guy now. But we can... Uh, in there. As long as we get a Persian in play, we're immune, right? Let's see we draw. Quick ball. That's not a Persian. Apparently we just can't find Persian today. Maybe I should just research. I might just, yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to go research here. 
I'm just gonna go research and try to get into what we're getting what we need here don't really care about any of these cards anyways so let's just go for it there's the Persian and there's a pass we have the M Porter again so yeah we can move that if we want if we can if we want to play tactical we can always save that and move that uh, we don't have an energy though I guess oh wait did we forget to do intrepid sword I think we did oh my god Bro, I forgot to do Intrepid Sword. That's a fail. That was a fail. Not the end of the world, though. We didn't need the energy, though, and I don't really want to do research. Yeah, rip. I forgot to do Intrepid Sword. Yeah, that could make all the difference, because we need energy to start attacking. There's a treasure for a Poipul. I mean, I'm still not really worried about this matchup anyways. I don't know what they're playing, but I'm not really worried about this matchup anyways because, like, they can't really do much. Like, the worst they can do is Venom Shot this, this... Well, Venom Shot these two, and once this evolves into a Persian, we're safe. Yeah, I should have done Shepard Sword. Completely forgot I had that at my disposal. They could be playing Power Plant too, which could be very scary. So we are down two Chaotic Swells now. now let's see what they do here. They can't damage me. They can build up Venom Shot though, which is what I'm worried about. They have played a few energies, so they played five Psychics. I don't know how many Psychics they're playing. They could be playing triple. They just go for their own Intrepid Sword. All right, what do we draw? Marnie, okay, that's actually good. So we could do this. Uh, we can play the Marnie here. Try to get a Dark Energy, also limit their Intrepid Sword. Ah, uh, no Dark Energy. We do get another Persian though, which I like. I like to see the other Persian. What oh, is pass? So now they cannot win the game by knocking out Drachi, Meowth, and Zacian. Now they can only take three prizes. As long as they don't play Power Plant, we should be fine. I don't think they do play Power Plant. Like, there's no way they play Power Plant. Why would they play Power Plant when they have Ultra Conversion? Like, I just gotta be hopeful here. Alright, well, let's see what they do. As long as we just have one Persian, we should be fine to win. I mean, I would have liked to have run and moved this guy. What is that? A triple? They do have triple energy in the deck. Uh, they can knock out Jirachi. They can hit the Zacian if they want. The quicker we knock this out, the better, too, to be honest. Ooh, they're going to Marnie me. Okay, that's fine. I get a new hand. We still need to get energy. We've only played three so far, so we should theoretically have six or five in the deck if we prized a few. There we go. We got a great catcher. I like that too. All right, an ultra space. That is not a chaotic swell, or not a chaotic swell. Sorry, a power plant. That's all that matters. We can actually great catcher this. We can swing it. We can also stock in closet. So no matter what's going to go, he's definitely going to snipe the Zacian here. No doubt about it. Oh, we actually choose to take out Jirachi. Fair play. I don't really think we even needed the Jirachi because the Absol's in play, but that's fine. The most important thing is now we can start attacking with Persian, and that's all that matters. There's Chaotic Swell. We still have five energy. Uh, do we want to play the Swell now? Yeah, you know what? We will. Let's get him for 120. He can snipe my Zacian again. Zacian can get knocked out. He'll go down to one prize. But again, with two Persians in play, don't see how he's going to win. So yeah, the Zacian actually kind of came in handy. Here I am chirping it, and it actually came in handy. Just... This is how life works. Oh, Malalon, I forgot he had that. I forgot my opponent had them in the deck. They actually have 10 cards left. So either they're going to win by somehow dealing with this or we deck them out. I actually think we can deck them. Unless they play like an ordinary rod, which there's no sign of yet. So we could probably deck them, actually. That's not... That's uh, still in the picture. Unless they could be playing like a card to get stuff back in the deck. They are discarding Ultra Beast. So maybe they have like a Brock Strait or something. But decking them out is actually a possibility. Let's see. It's like recharge. I mean, they can attack with Malamar, obviously, but they'd only be doing 40. As long as we just keep getting more energy for our other Persian, should be fine. But again, I don't think they can deal with it. You can kind of see how this deck works, though. As you can see, guys, there's so much immunity we have right now. Not even that Zacian could damage me thanks to End Porter. So even if they did have a way to damage my Zacian, that is no longer a thing. Speaking of Zacian, though, it looks like they want my Zacian to be gone. I'm just going to hit him for 120. Keep chucking away at this thing. 
Maybe we don't even want to knock them out. Just because nothing can damage Persian other than Malamar, maybe we don't even want to knock them out so they can't bench anything. Honestly, that is another thing we can consider right now. We can deck them out by just not benching anything. Let's say, like, Brock Strait or something. You know? That's the only other problem. There's that last Ultra Space. So as long as I don't have Power Plant, which I don't think they do, we should be safe here from ever losing Persian. They have another Malo and Lana, but they keep discarding cards from their hand. So they'll deck out eventually. They can't, like, do any, like, Cynthia or Marnie shenanigans try to lower their hand size. So they keep... So they save some turns. It's not going to work anymore. They will be able to take out my Zacian. They'll go down to one prize, which is a little alarming. But again, I don't think they can deal with Persian. Despite the Zacian kind of being a hindrance to us, because this force is making my point be able to take the extra prize here. I don't think it matters too much. I think we can still come out on top of the win. How much retreat does this thing have? Two? So I can't stall it. I think at this point, we just win the game by just doing our thing. Yeah, Zacian kind of was a hindrance. But as long as they don't have a power plant, which at this point, I don't think they do. Should be able to win the game. There's another energy for this guy. We'll just claw slash. Just keep chucking away. And let's see how they can win. Don't think there is a way they can win. Again, they can attack me with Malamar, but... Do we have the other end porter? We do, so I mean, if we can ever get that end porter, we can just move an energy. But else we just one-shot Malamar. We have a switch, we can go into the Persian. I think we're Gucci to win this, guys. We'd also snipe the Malamar, but again, I don't know if I want to go with the Stock Claws knock. I might just let them deck out. They have two cards left. They're still building up this thing. It's not gonna work. Not going to work. If they play Power Plant, it will work, but I don't think they do. Ooh, Choice Helmet. Another Dark's always good. I think I'm just gonna pass. Again, we can try to deck them out. Who knows? They might bench something that can attack me and win the game. I'm not gonna risk it. We're just gonna keep passing. They might not even be able to move the Absol anyways. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. They can't do anything anyway, so it really doesn't even matter. The literally only thing that could damage me is Malamar, but like at this point it won't work. So you can kind of see how good this Persian is, man. Just walling so many Pokemon is actually insane. It is just so fun. Just, they can't do anything. Persian is a wall, guys. This is why Persian is good. We didn't get to play against Blacephalon or Henry Branch deck, which I'm actually surprised we didn't... I didn't find a single game against Henry, Br Henry Brand's deck. And just like that, we decked them out. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't run into that Mewtwo deck. We didn't even play against Blacephalon, but you get the point. If you play this deck, you should have a pretty easy time against those other decks. That is it for the Persian video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below to help me on the road to reaching 8k subs. So we have some chests to open up. Might as well open them up. But yeah, that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Persian deck. Again, I think the Zacian can get taken out of the deck. I probably would add another Sneasel. Um... Another red and blue or another Sneasel, I think, is what I would consider putting in here. Other than that, though, this deck is pretty fire. Um, you might take some auto losses. Some decks can just deal with you pretty easily, obviously. Um, but there are a lot of decks right now that just can't do anything to you. So that is it for the Persian deck. As always, guys, make sure to check out the Sponsor Card Game TCG down below, too. Ooh, Versal Mewtwo. Um, check out the Sponsor Card Game TCG down below, too. Use code LDF if you pick up any codes there. I know you guys probably are looking for some codes, especially with playing more PCGO now with the whole thing going on right now in the world. Um, yeah. Subscribe down below, leave a like for some Persian action. Maybe I'll do a Persian deck in the future as like a hit and run style deck, maybe with like more Peko or something. That'll be it guys, thanks for watching, have a good day. Follow me on Twitter down below too, bye-bye.